I did a self-tape um, and then pretty much straight after that I met with Johnny and Tim um, and yeah from then on I, they, they offered me the role and I've just got involved like that. There is no health and safety whatsoever like that's probably the best thing about it everybody can just have fun without feeling like you know there's too many seat belts across them or you know there's no restrictions everybody's just allowed to have fun. <laughs> 1970s America was much freer than it is now. You know, no no kids were wrapped up in in bubble wrap or cotton wool. You know, they were just allowed to do what they wanted. You know, their parents weren't constantly freaking out about, oh, you're going to fall or you're going to hurt yourself. They, they could just do what they wanted, which is really, really cool. <laughs> it's kind of a mixture. So there's, there's quite a lot of crass jokes and there's some dark humour. There's some slapstick, but... All in all, it's just hilarious, to be honest. <laughs> Johnny is incredible. I mean, it's like having a second dad. He's just the funniest, kindest man. Like, even if we were doing a night shoot, like, I fell asleep in the car and he had to stand at the side of the truck to make sure I didn't fall out and just, oh, he's just hilarious. He's just incredible. He's put a completely different spin on it to when I read the script. You know, it's he's made sure it's shot beautifully and it's I mean nothing is obvious everything is just different to how it it should be read and it's I love that about it it's not it's not classic you know it's uh it's different to how it should be it's great I listened to a lot of Clash songs because I loved them anyway that was that was really nice so when I read the script I was like oh she likes the Clash that's cool <laughs> I like the Clash too so just listen to a lot of 70s music, really. It's something I've never really done before, so I'm just kind of feeling my way through it, and obviously I'm surrounded by hilarious people, like Johnny Pemberton, and Bridget, and Josh, and you know, all the birds, and they're all so funny, it's great to learn from them, like, what to do. I think they'll be surprised by the heart to this film. I don't think they'll be expecting so much heart from a film, you know, with so much action and comedy in it. You know, they'll be expecting to see all these crazy stunts with Johnny and, you know, they'll be expecting the comedy because of the birds, but I don't think they'll be expecting many of the emotional scenes. I think that'll be quite a shock. I think they're going to love it. I hope they do. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going to love the stunts. There's quite a few crazy things that people have ended up doing, so they're going to like that. <laughs> I'm a huge animal lover. Like, I really, really love animals. So to work with a crocodile and raccoons and snakes, I, it's been incredible. I've never worked with so many animals before. It's been incredible. And the guy who's providing the animals, Luke, he's incredible. We've been to his place, like, twice now. And he has cheetahs and lions, and we've been able to see so much stuff while we're here. But because he knows us, he's like, okay, do you want to hold this snake? And it's like... <gasps> Okay, <laughs> I wouldn't do this at home, but okay, while I'm here, I may as well. So, I feel like she's just trying to grow into her own person. She's not a little girl anymore, and she's trying to show her dad that she really isn't, and she's her own person, and because he hasn't seen her in such a long time, I feel like she's just trying to to come into her own and you know she's getting to be quite cool you know she likes the clash and she's into her music and she's becoming her own person finally and i think a big part of her journey is trying to show her dad that she is that person she loves him she loves him a lot but it's kind of awkward when she first gets there because she's not seen him in a long long time and their relationship's kind of rocky but throughout the course of the film she she thoroughly realizes that she is her dad's daughter and she's a lot more like him than she thought and by the end of the film they're so much closer than she could have imagined i guess it's the heart to it you know so between the stunts and the and the comedy there's there's this running theme of this relationship that's kind of rocky between the dad and the daughter but i feel like yeah, it, it drives it because there is heart to it and because the relationship is so complex, it's kind of interesting to watch develop. And by the end of the film, because they're so close, it's, it's lovely to see that, that closeness. I mean, 
mean, they're all just incredible. They're like some of my best friends. They're just they're just great. Um, I mean, they they are all just so similar to their characters. It's just hilarious. I mean, they make you laugh all the time, and it's great because they'll be ad libbing in between, and a lot of the lines aren't scripted. So they'll just be coming out with this funny stuff, and you're trying to keep your face straight in the scene, like, oh yeah, this is really emotional or whatever. And then you've got somebody in the background trying to make you laugh, and you're like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> It's so funny, they're just, oh, I love them so much. <laughs> I've just had the most fun. It's It's been the funniest set I've ever been on. You know, everybody's just constantly playing pranks on each other and oh, it's just been the most fun, honestly.